Yo, um, welcome to bank reviews, I guess, not beer reviews. I'll have a beer while I do the review though. Um, today I went to try one of the uh, Zero bikes, the Zero S. And I must say, it's um, this is probably going to be the longest, most boring 14 minutes of your life. But it was the 11.1 kilowatt, kilowatt one, which is like a equivalent to a learner bike. There we go. That's the beer. Um, dealership, I must say, super friendly, super honest. They they didn't bullshit about, oh yeah, it'll do a million thousand miles on a charge. They said, realistically, the numbers are way above what uh, what they say. But yeah, after feeling with my, my gloves there, I'll take off. And um, I am, um, put it that way, experienced on the bike. Where's the clutch? Where's the gears? And it goes. It, um, it goes all right, to be fairly honest. Um, after he's showing me how to use this weird contraption, I was just let loose. To be fairly honest, I'm not getting a bike like this to to save the polar bears so or to 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 be a high-end environmentalist or anything. I'm doing it because I can charge at work uh, and do my bit for not polluting London, whatever. Uh, instead of being on the little G three three ten R BM thing, um, I will lease this one as I leased the other one. So um, that that's just the way to go at the moment you can feel when you get on it you can feel it's quite a heavy bike because of like compared to the power and, and everything and the size of the wheels because of the batteries um but i'll, I'll come back to that later um just on a yui you always have to try yui um it took a little bit of getting used to i was often in in the traffic lights and, and stopping to the traffic lights frankly trying to find a clutch so I wouldn't stall it but you don't need that which is a good thing uh, I must say it pulls very steady um, you got economy mode a custom mode and a sports mode in the economy mode it goes all right in sports mode it goes better and it's just a constant pull really it's it's not like you have to wait for, for the torque to come in as the engine to rev up it's just there bam and you go but what do I know? Like me and my mates are just basically mechanical, old school donkeys. Got a picture off here. Yes, that that's us um, looking at the bike store or going to a dealership or being at a bike meet. Doesn't matter really. Um, as I said, it feels a bit heavy, but the weight distribution on it is quite good. The batteries are quite low down, so handling is is. Um, I like the way it handles actually. Um, it doesn't handle bad and the brakes are really good on it. Another thing that surprised me was how much you can actually feel the region when, when you're in the uh, eco mode. You you blast it away and let go of the throttle and it's like, um, how can you describe it? Let's say you've got a dragging rear brake that's dragging like to the extent of you fucking need to look at it. Um, that's how the regen feels. But you can find like a sweet spot where it's um, in the dash it says power or torque of regen. You can find like a sweet spot where, where you just roll it, where it's like you, you have your clutch in, so it's not regen and it's not using power either. So, so that, that that's good. Uh, but I, I would say as, as a commuter machine, this would be ideal, especially because I can charge at work, so that that's what you need. Um, you charge from home, you go to work, you charge at work, you go home, you go back to work, you charge it, and then boom, that's 16, 17 quid of petrol every two days you save there. Um, one thing about it, I will say, is... Um, the whole setup of the bike, the, the geometry of the bike, the way you sit on it, the it's like you can kind of feel that whoever designed it or, or the engineers behind it have not built motorcycles before, so they kind of just went for a, a base formula to build a bike with the handlebars and, and foot picks and what have you and a seat and, and sitting on it. It feels, it feels a little bit different from, from a normal 
internal combustion engine, auto engine, or whatever, rotary engine bike, it feels different in that way. Um, it doesn't feel different badly, but it, it's just there's something about it where you kind of just feel that it's it, it it's not from a <laughs> sounds silly. It's not from a pedigree manufacturer like whoever does pedigree bikes nowadays. They all say that you. But it, it's not like jumping up on a on a on a on a, on a normal bike, especially the clutch thing. I've um, I've did that a couple of times, coming out of a corner, letting off the throttle and lifting my left foot up to give it the next gear and then opening again. And there was just no gears there. And as I said, the constant fear of stalling it coming down to lights because you can't take in the clutch and bang it down gears. But it, it feels like an honestly well-built bike, I must say. Um, it, it's, it's as I said, you don't feel that it's really heavy, and you don't really feel that it's um, for, 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 for a learner plates legal bike. I must say it it shifts it shifts like hell compared to one two five whatever. It'll you get kind of speed blind on it because you open it up, put it in sport mode, open it up. And then all of a sudden it doesn't go anymore and you look down and you're doing 88 miles an hour. Do the same thing in, um, in eco mode and it'll still shift. It doesn't shift as hard, but it'll, it'll, still, it'll still shift. Um, it's, it's, it's a weird sensation. It's like the only thing I can compare it to would be a rotary engine to a... CVT, CVG, constant velocity uh, drive, like like on a scooter. It, it just the power is constant. It's it's there all the time. Um, opening it, you got maybe tens of a second of, of lag before it just absolutely latches on and puts in all the all the torques it has. I think it has about. 90 some user meters and then in sports mode it, it peaks shortly at 106 or something so on, on that on that um, on that front it, it's absolutely brilliant um i am going to as soon as i'm up the next service on the uh the beamer mm, pinocchio bike the uh, g310r bad boy little thing said up for the 12,000 mile service um, I changed the front and the rear pads. I'm on my third set of uh, headlight bulb because I think the thing must be overcharged from the factory. The chain is... you got as much sideways play in that chain as you got up and down now. And I've looped it and I tightened it at least once a week and it's just that chain is just made of Chinese yoke. So I have to pay for a full service at 12000 which is fair enough, but I still have paid for pads and I will now need to pay for a new sprockets and a new chain on it. This little thing is belt drive. As we all know, belts last forever and when they pop, they're fairly expensive, but they, they normally don't pop. And, and as the guy at the dealership told me, this puppy comes with, um, with we need to service it twice a year, which is 200 quid at total, 100 quid a time, which is less than I pay for the 310. Um, the belt, he said, would probably last you two to three years. Um, they got five years warranty on the battery, they got three years unlimited mileage warranty on the whole thing. So this will be my next thing to go for, 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 a, for a solution machine. It's, um, it's not the most exciting ride. It's not the most comfortable, but as um, as I found out, if I get rid of the other one, sell that back, blah blah blah, no money left on the lease, put down a small deposit, I and boom, eighty five quid a month, uh, and that would be well worth it. Put down that small deposit, yeah. As I said, I don't have to ever put a drop of petrol in this. Um, they got charging points at work. I could charge it at home uh, if I so wish to, but I think it got the mileage for me to actually 
get into the dealership, drive it to my garage, plug it in, charge the little thing, go to work, charge at work, go home, go to work, charge it there. I do know they got the whole cold weather thing, and, and I did pop a good question about that, and he said, you might sometime have to top it up at home, but it, it'll tell you that the dash is, is absolutely brilliant. So, so it's, it's not a problem there, really. Uh, what I do see now, looking down at this whole uh, video editing tool, is I actually don't know if it had recorded anything of this. I surely hope it has, but it's it's. I am not the, that good at editing. Oh look at that! It even overtakes the popo. But yeah, um, all in all, I must say I'm I'm I'm. As they say, as a good Futurama quote would be, I have no strong strong feelings towards or against it. It's I don't know if it's the future. I don't know if it's it's the way to go. I just know that it was enjoyable to ride. It throttles very controllable. Brakes are good. Seating position is is as I said. Their next model, they might have evolved a bit more into to to looking into. Yeah, there's just something that doesn't feel a hundred percent right about the whole riding position and, and the geometry of the bike. But as soon as you get used to it a little bit, I was out on it for about an hour, I think. I can't remember. Forty minutes, forty-five minutes. I don't know. I, I, I just took it around. I poodled around. Did, did some motorway, as you see. Did some. Did some small roads, did some town, did some did some pulls out of the lights and stuff, and, and she just did it. it. It's it's like I still still don't know if um, if it's the future, but it's it's definitely it's it's the bike, and it'll take me to and from work. A thing I did think about while I was riding it is, oh yeah, here we go. An actual fire truck coming flat out past me. So you can see here, this bike does many things. It even drives on the pavement. That aside, um, as I was saying, no idea if it's the future or not. And one thing I would like was actually get hold of one of these engines, motors, electrical motors with a battery package, throw it in, a, in another frame, I don't know, an old small gigs a frame or an old Norton featherbit frame or something and then, then cover it up to a gearbox and just see how how much that would um, improve everything because you got so much torque that you would absolutely just fret them tires if you were too hard on it. So I think that could be that could be way fun to actually try that, to, to build a get a zero bike. Oh, I'll get a zero bike. Yeah, just like fucking throw 15 grand at something you're going to take apart and then put the engineer on the frame. Try it from there. The gearbox. But I think that would be worth it. Um, so, well, all in all, as I said, I, I missed miss, I miss the clutch. Um, I miss the whole thing coming to the lights. Um, but that this thing, it, it did fucking well. It did. It did well. I I was quite hard on the gas all the time. I don't know, potential meter going down to the electrical control box, doing the four QCs, doing doing the whole three phase from 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 DC magical hocus pocus thing inside. So yeah, now, now I've got a little bit uh, curious and, and opened the thingy where the charger is in. And I think if you put your charger in your back pocket, you can actually have four tinnies in there, which is cool. Anyway, that's my review on this thing. Hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, you didn't, but I hope you did. Have a good one anyway. See you later. Ta-ta!